We figured it was appropriate since it's WrestleMania season, and we really only see this guy maybe uh, one stretch of time during the year, uh, that it was appropriate to do our first individual focus theme Q&A all about The Undertaker. And, you know, a lot of response to this Q&A in a very big hurry. We appreciate that. We may or may not even be able to get through all of the questions. You can see Taker here, this action figure commemorating his uh, debut at Survivor Series 1990. Are you ready? Let's get into it. Quick thing. At the end of this video, the announcement will come, but the subject of our next theme Q&A will be, and it's a special one. Indeed. Mm -hmm. All right. At J underscore McCurry08, if Taker had been full-time over the past few years, do you think he would have returned to his American Badass gimmick? I hope not. Hell no, I hope not. At Ahmed underscore LW, who has less ego, Chris Jericho or Undertaker? You know, both those guys are pretty unselfish, so let's throw in uh, Foley also, and then I'll say Foley is probably his least ego. Okay. Jericho Taker is very hard to choose. I'll go with Taker because I'm a bigger Taker fan than Jericho, at least a little bit more so. Uh, at Sam Stevenson 3, probably a lot more. <laughs> Do you think Taker and Cena will ever happen? I think it has to happen at next year's WrestleMania, and if it doesn't, it's a match that the company's going to be like, well, we probably should have done that at some point. At Taylor Johanny, would you like would you like to see Honey Boo Boo break the streak? No. Hell no. Only the Maddox. No. The Maddox is too much self-respect to end something so great. Shame on you. At Stephen Toth 18, when do you believe the WWE knew what they had in the streak and decided to continue with it? Probably around the time of WrestleMania 17, 18. I get, this is all speculation. We've heard different theories over the years. Um, I think once it got to about 9, 10, and 0, that's when they started to realize, yeah, we might this have a little... This is kind season. of a big deal. We should probably uh, Fans are going. making signs, takers signing, you know, this is 9 and 0. Um, that's when I think they started to realize they had a big deal. But they probably didn't fully know yet still. At X Little Nick X three six five, do you think Taker should retire after Mania and be inducted with Paul Bear at WrestleMania thirty? If they did that, I'd be perfectly fine. I think it's an odd number twenty one and zero, but yeah, I could see it. It who knows how much longer Taker has in him. Yes. At it's Brandon Ace, do you think ending the American Badass gimmick at Survivor Series two thousand three was the right call for the Undertaker? Yes. Before in another video that I said that it was at a different pay-per-view. It was at Survivor Series 2003. Thanks, guys, for the correction. And, yes, it was time. Uh, the gimmick it served probably could have gone a little before that. Probably at that point, yes. Uh, at Ethan Rogers 92, it was necessary even though I didn't like it. At Ethan Rogers 92, will there ever be another gimmick like The Undertaker? I don't think the current WWE has, like, the cojones to produce something like that again. I don't... I don't know that it would necessarily work again, even if they did have the brass ones, the false, the cojones. Um, I don't know if it would work or not. That's a good question. Maybe it would, though, considering how popular shows like The Walking Dead are. It's true, but I don't, I don't right. think that they do it. I don't think they have the guts to do it. I mean, look how long it took for them to put Jack Swagger on TV with a I'm an American-American gimmick. True. At Evgriff74, if you could pick any opponent for The Undertaker at WrestleMania, who would it be, past or present, alive or dead? Um, talk about a present person. Is it Cena? Yeah, it's Cena. Okay, because we're, we're holding the top off. top guy. And... That's the one monster mania match that hasn't happened. Uh, there's another question later asking about an all-time opponent for Taker. That's why we're not fully answering it yet. Present guy would probably be Cena, yes. At KJ Bacane. What if Double J defeated Undertaker at WrestleMania 30? Imagine that. Hey, imagine this. Imagine this. Imagine both of these. Up yours. Nobody wants to imagine that. The Why? Because it's dumb. The King of the Mountain doesn't deserve that honor. The King of the Mountain doesn't deserve anything. At James Edward 1990, Sting versus Taker at WrestleMania 30 is my dream match. How would you book it? What would be the stipulation? Uh, if it's your dream match, probably something along the lines of you'd want Crow Sting. And you would have him up in the rafters for weeks, pointing his bat down at Taker. A lot of mystery, some mind games, something like that. Taker, of course, going to At Ryan Monroe 6, who should end the streak out of these men? Hogan in his prime, Rock, Austin, or HBK, if you had to choose one? In his prime? 
Mm -hmm. I'm going with HBK. Let HBK have a third shot and end it. But the first Jazzy wrestled to me wasn't in his prime. Uh, if we're talking, if we're talking about guys that were all in their prime, including Rock, Austin, HBK, Hogan, uh, I would probably go with either Rock or Austin. I'm not sure which one of the two. I don't think it would be a good idea the type of character that Hogan was to have him uh, break a legendary streak like that. Yeah, but see, with uh, HBK or Hogan, you have both those guys in their prime. You know they're going to stick around for a while. So at least they're getting a rub and something that they can build off of for the future. I suppose that's a good point. Here, let me scoot this over a little bit towards me. There we go. So that way it's not blocking off your face when you turn around. Uh, <laughs> at Ty Mills 1104, what did you think of the Undertaker Hulk Hogan feud when Taker won his first title? Uh, it led to Tuesday in Texas. <laughs> uh, it, it all felt like just filler to set up Flair and Hogan, which never really fully materialized in the WWF. So kind of disappointing, frankly. Um, but a big spot for Taker at that point. Uh, WWE fan 0599, which Undertaker match was your favorite? Favorite all time is probably him and HBK WrestleMania 25. Yeah. At Psycho Mike's, can you ever recall a moment when the Undertaker should have used his backstage power? Not having to wrestle Giant Gonzalez ever. At W. Rain Foster, what are you guys' top five taker matches and feuds? Uh, favorite matches that stand out, top five, and in, in some type of order. Uh, WrestleMania 25 against uh, HBK. I would say King of the Ring 98 against Foley. WrestleMania 14 against Kane. Um... Maybe WrestleMania 17 against Triple H. Got to get that in there at some point. Um, I don't know about a fifth one, but those are just some of the Edge. ones that come to mind. Uh, probably Edge, WrestleMania 24, or maybe SummerSlam uh, 2008. Yeah, that would be another one. I don't know if those would be all the top five, but some idea at least for you. But just Oliver 68 would of course. Would you say Randy Orton's feud with The Undertaker is still the best in Randall Keith Orton's career? No. Really? I'm still waiting for Randy Orton's greatest feud. Which uh, is him versus Chase. Probably Orton's most significant feud. Probably the one that helped him more than anything else. Unless you want to say the feud with Mick Foley the year before. That would be the other one i throw in there. Uh, but yes, definitely a great feud for Randy Orton. One of the best of his career. No question about it, Chase Oliver 68. At WWE Galaxy, do you guys think there will ever be another character like Undertaker? No. no. I kind of already answered that, but not really. Uh, which isn't a bad thing. Uh, at Mub716, what is Undertaker's best non-WrestleMania match? I mentioned one of them, him and Foley at King of the Ring 98. Might not be the best from a work standpoint, but in terms of significance and importance and impact, that has to go right up there. Um, at Orton G. Armstrong, we all know Giant Gonzalez is the worst opponent Undertaker had at Mania, but did he have a worse opponent somewhere else? It was pretty bad. <laughs> I just, no offense to Jai Gonzalez, rest his soul, but it, it was bad. You know, the, the Kamala one was always kind of questionable, but, you know, Kamala's better than Jai Gonzalez. Um, yeah, I don't know if there was a worse opponent, unless he went back to maybe his WCW days. Uh, at Josh X Bridges, do you think Taker will go out of kayfabe in his Hall of Fame induction. Yeah. I think he probably will. I mean, he did it when he was the American Badass and he would do interviews. He was out of character. So, Also, do you think his badass gimmick would work nowadays? Yeah. Yeah. With shows like Sons of Anarchy being popular and stuff. Yeah. Why, it'd probably be more over now than it was back then. Probably. That's <laughs> the ironic thing. It probably would be. At Candy Lick 21, why didn't you like the American Badass Taker? And what was your favorite Ministry Taker moment? I think it was after so many years of him being that dark, kind of mystical, gothic taker and how he evolved. It was such a radical departure, and it wasn't something that I just really ever gravitated to. And, got. like, he didn't go with, like, a classic, like, badass biker song. Limp Biscuit, Really? Rolling, rolling, rolling. 
got to admit, that was pretty bad. Oh, in terms of another opponent, just to answer a previous question, him having to go two-on-one against Big Show and uh, Prince Albert at WrestleMania 19 is pretty bad. You know, oh, oh, oh God. Anyways. Uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, and what was your favorite ministry taker moment? Uh, pinning up Austin. Uh, fucking with Stephanie. Quite a few. Those would be a couple that come to mind, I believe. At Chas Comiskey, although the match was pretty short, did you enjoy the return of Undertaker at WrestleMania 20? As soon as I heard, Oh, yeah! As soon as I heard that voice, I knew shit was going to pick up. And to me, once you got to the entrance at WrestleMania 20, it was in the garden. Was so many things were right about it. To me, the match could, should have been like 60 or 90 seconds. Why even bother having a match? Because there was so much excitement about a legend like Taker returning. Exactly. You had the entrance. The match didn't even need to go as long as it did. I think that partially hurt the match because there was so much buzz just about the return and then the big theatrics of his entrance. It was all disappointment until the finish. At RJ underscore Gorman, if the WWE started to build a young star towards ending the streak at 30, who would you choose? There's nobody right now. And even if you said we're going to build a young star, they'd literally have to beat everybody else in the course of a year. That's just not feasible. You'd be looking maybe more at WrestleMania 32 or 33 before I'd even consider it. Um, at Javier Lartabo, what was your, which is your favorite Undertaker 90s moment? Mine is when he had Chuck Norris as his manager versus Yokozuna. That's one of them, <laughs> Chuck Norris said. Wham, bitches! Thanks, right. Chuck Norris. <laughs> My favorite Taker moment of the 90s. My favorite feud of his all-time favorite storyline of his um, probably was him and Kane in late 97, early 98, building up to uh, WrestleMania 14. Uh, there was a lot of good stuff in that time. A lot of the, you, can you top this shit? Uh, I don't know if I can really single it down to just one. Um, maybe as a kid when he helped save Macho Man and Elizabeth from Jake the Snake hitting him with a chair. That would be another one. Uh, it's technically the 90s. Probably. At WWF Soccer 19, if Undertaker was available for WrestleMania 2000, who would his opponent have been? I'll throw out a few names, pick one really quickly. Out of Big Show, Triple H, um, Mick Foley, The Rock, one of those four, who do you think? I'll go Big Show. I'll go Foley. Yeah. Who knows? Um, it shouldn't have been Triple H because they had plans down the road. <laughs> they all knew it. Maybe we could have gotten again. four matches, damn it. <laughs> At Sir underscore Trevington, do you think that some of Taker's healthier years were wasted during his lame biker gimmick? I don't know if they were wasted. I mean, he was in the title picture quite a bit, had some good, had some big main spots. He was aligned with Vince at times and you know, feuded with Vince and a lot of other big top names like The Rock and Hogan and no, I don't think it was wasted. It just isn't my favorite. And see, with the biker gimmick, at least you got him. It seemed like you got Taker out there a little bit more. Yeah, and that was maybe good. Because with the dark dead man stuff, it was like you need the mystery so he can't be out there all the right. time. And I think that's a good point to bring up. Uh, at Viva El Carlito, do you believe Kurt Angle when he said the Undertaker wanted him to be the one to break the streak? No, if it came out of Kurt Angle's mouth, sorry, I don't fucking believe it. He'll be here. <laughs> Oh, well, and believe me, the museum will tell us he'll be there, even though we'll tell him, no, he won't fucking be there. What a surprise. Mm -hmm. At Disco Ben, what is Undertaker's best finisher? Tombstone Pile Driver. Even though he technically has four finishers, that's still the best. Should Undertaker get the Ric Flair treatment, Hall of Fame while still active? Definitely. If there's, there's very few people that deserve that honor, and that would be one of them. I can't believe we're able to fire through all these questions. Hope you guys enjoyed this Q&A. Now for the big announcement. Since this is being uploaded on Easter Sunday, what better way to celebrate the crucifixion and then the ultimate resurrection of God himself than to do a Q&A all about Triple H. But we're going to do it a little differently. We're going to do three Q&As. If you want to ask questions about his early career, ask a question on Twitter, add off the rope shows our Twitter handle, and put hashtag Hunter. If you want to ask about the middle part of his career, hashtag Hurst. If you want to ask about the tail part of his career, the past five, six years, hashtag Helmsley. We're going to have a Hunter, a Hurst, and a Helmsley. The, the three, three books, books of God. God.